So a while back, I purchased a Max Drive Vest 3.0 body armor ventilation from 221B Tactical. I did so because I really wanted to see how it compared to TAC Vent. Uh, for the last few years, I've been a, a big supporter of TAC Vent. It's a law enforcement owned company and they really make a great product that I actually have used a lot in the past. But I've been seeing this, this Max Drive Vest for a while now and I really had to experience it for myself. So I went ahead, spent the money, bought one for myself and I've been wearing it for a little while now. Uh, today, I'm back wearing my TAC Vent and I'm really glad I am. Um, one thing I'm experiencing right now with TAC Vent is I'm really uh, feeling the cool air flow freely and unobstructed under my body armor just from the air conditioner being on low. Uh, it's really important getting back in from a, get back in your car from a traffic stop, cranking your AC up and really feeling that airflow go go under your body armor and really cool you off and um, and dissipate that heat. Um, with the with the 221B, the Max Dry, you know, I really didn't get that same effect as a, of of the air flowing freely. Now, granted, it did separate my body armor from my skin, and uh, if I would, you know, if you move a certain way, if you move, you can feel the, the hot air come out, but it really doesn't let that cold air go in. Um, actually, the only way I was able to get cold air to go under my vest with the, the Maxtra was to actually use an air hose, like a, a poor man's cool cop, uh, an air hose I have hooked up to a, an air vent in my back, um, and actually stick it under my vest and, and force the cold air conditioned air under my vest. Now granted, once that was in there, the air permeated the, the mesh and really did allow for that, that cooling factor. But other than that, that was really the only way I was able to get some relief from the heat. The, uh, the meshy material of the Max Dry really kind of acts like a heat soak. It's like a, some sort of a tactical SWAT sweater <laughs> under my body armor. And um, it doesn't really work unless you're able to force the cold air down you know if I'm if I have my arm out the window and I'm, and I'm cruising at about you know 50 miles an hour and the air hits my sleeve just right it'll go up under my arm and hey it's a nice cooling cool feeling but you know again without that external force of pushing the air under your shirt and under your body armor it really didn't dissipate the heat so um, the tag vent really lets the air flow on its own uh, just freely and unobstructed and uh, it really works really well, especially today when it's a little warm. Here you can see Max Dry and Tac Vent side by side. The Max Dry is essentially another vest that you wear under your body armor, and Tac Vent is a soft corrugated rubber panel that fits under your body armor. Max Dry is a soft and spongy material, and it's quite comfortable once it's on. Um, however, I've found that all of the material that creates the separation does have quite a smothering effect and more or less trapped heat versus allowing it to dissipate on its own. Tag vent is covered in small holes that allows the heat to dissipate off your skin. It's very lightweight. It fits under your body armor and stays in place without any help of attachments. It's very malleable and pliable and conforms to the shape of your body no matter what shape your body really is. The grooves and corrugations are what create the separation that allow the heat and air to move freely out of your vest. TagVent does have video resources on their website to show how effective their product is at keeping under vest temperatures down. Using heating pads under two separate vests, one with a tag vent, one without, they show a 14 and a half degree difference in under vest temperatures. 221B Tactical does not have any video proof showing that their product, the Max Drive Vest, reduces under vest temperatures. TagVent also provides a video resource on their website showing how their product helps to reduce trauma under your body armor in the unlikely event that you are caught in a gunfight and rounds strike your vest. 221B Tactical does not. We all know that being a cop isn't the highest paid job in the nation, so if price is an issue, TagVent weighs in at 25 bucks. The Max Drive Vest is anywhere from $60 to nearly quadruple the price at $99. So if you're looking for proof that there is a way to reduce the temperatures under your body armor and at an affordable price with the added measure of trauma protection, it would appear that TacVent does stick true to their slogan. They are the only solution in body armor ventilation. You can find more information about TacVent on Facebook and Instagram or go to their website at tacvent.com. This has been Nick with the Mike Loop. As always, you guys stay safe.